Since I've had this car, I've not opened up the boot. Oh, guys, guys, guys. I can't believe I just touched that. And I had to get my gloves. This has to go down as the most random thing that I've found in a salvage car. So what, you're coming out at night, going to the car and beat one off? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode on my double drift build. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I suggest going to check out episode one and episode two where I picked up two Nissan drift cars. One is a Nissan 370Z, one is a Nissan 350Z. And in the last episode, I paid very close attention to the 370Z, I got that up and running and I neglected this bad boy. We're gonna be sorting out this car. I'll just keep going. I want to check over everything in the car, give it the full run over and um, we found out that it's got some suspension, clear suspension damage on the passenger side but I suspect that it's also got something going on on this side as well um, you can see how that wheel is slightly turned I'm assuming at this moment in time that it's a track rod arm that might be damaged but before we get to that, have a look at it, the car is a complete mess so I'm going to be loading up this one, getting the format giving it a nice wash, I want to see what condition the paintwork is in underneath all of this muck and grub. Once that's done, then we can continue. So, let's wash the car and then check it over. You know what we do, we ride, yeah? Tell Akio, London tour, from here, Albania. Girls on bikes, so I'm on, innit? Guys, guys, take a look at this car now, man. This little thing has cleaned up so nice. However, it's exposed a few defects. First thing first, since we've washed it, I can clearly see, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I can see there's a big dent in the door, which was covered by all of that muck. Um, it will need a polish, but obviously because of that dent, we will have to do some body work and probably respray that door. Um, the rear quarters as well, like the paint, it's just really old paint. You can see it's no, there's no shine to it and it just, the top surface is just not a nice finish. It's very faded, very dull and that comes all the way around. Um, have a look at this side. It's got a few little dings and stuff you can see from years of just opening the doors and other cars probably opening the doors on this one. But saying all that, actually before I say that, have a look at the bonnet. The paintwork on the bonnet looks a bit sun damaged and it's got a massive fading spot in the middle. But saying all of that, I'm still happy with this buy. Let me know what you think. And I still feel like we've got a nice base to build upon with this car. Give it a few mods, tidy up the paintwork, complete the bodywork. And this is gonna be a nice, fun little summer car. Tell me what you think I should do, like I said in the last episode, but now that we've got the car cleaned up, now that I've seen what's going on in, on the exterior, I need to jack the car up, remove this wheel. As you can see, something's going on right here. I need to figure out what's happening there. And these are seat covers. I don't like them. I think that they are crap. So I'm gonna remove these ones. I wanna see the conditions of the seat underneath. And possibly I was thinking, I was doing some research last night about getting the seats reupholstered, red leather or something like that. I don't know. Um, if anyone's got any suggestions, do let me know. Because like you can see over there, it's got a massive hole in that seat. Another thing that I was messing around with off camera is this little touch screen. This is an Android unit. It's actually quite good. It's got, it's packed with features. It connected to my phone straight away. It sounds decent enough. Um, so that will be staying. And I also double checked the AC is super cold. And listen, I'm gonna have some fun in this car, man. I'm gonna have some fun in this car. Who say, look, Salvage Nation hitting Europe again. Well, how about that? Or <laughs> what if these cars end up in Barbados? You never know. I don't know what the plan is. 
you give me some suggestions. But for now, I'm gonna stop talking and get to work. Let's remove this wheel. Pull, man. Pull that out, guys. Pull it out, mate. All right, you guys, so have a look at that wing now. It's got its shape back. We just need to finish up some bodywork on that and that is gonna look good. But if I could change the angle, you can see it's got its shape back and everything is looking salvageable, <laughs> to say the least. What is not salvageable is this lower control arm. You can see it's curved right there. So that is the rear lower one. So it's the lower rear because there's two. There's one at the rear of the left suspension, one at the front of the left suspension, and there's one at the top. That is a control arm up there as well. So lower rear, you can see the curve is there. It's meant to be curved, but not that curved. Um, let me see if I can get you a better view. Yeah, you literally see how that's just bent. Have a look at this wheel now, it's dead straight. You can see that the steering wheel is all straight and it matches the rear wheel on this side. Everything is looking good. I think that because this side is so badly damaged, it's gone all the way back, it's thrown off everything, and that's why we can't drive the car. That's the only thing that's stopping this car from driving, guys. I've tried to order it from my local parts supplier, they can't get it in for me until next week. I've had a look on eBay, they can't get it in until next week either, so I might as well just order it on eBay because it's a lot cheaper than my parts supplier if I picked up a used one. So, we're gonna have to park up this car until then, but for now, what I wanna do is clean this all up with the sanding machine and then I'm gonna move into the interior and just try to tidy things up and then we'll see where we're left with. Another thing that I've noticed and I'm very happy about guys, look at the condition of these alloy wheels. They're in very good condition. They look almost new for this car. Um, they're definitely aftermarket and they're running Continental Sport Contact 6s all round. Um, there's two tires on the other side, I'll show you. They were flat when the car came. They were very, very flat actually. But, so far so good, I just topped them up with some air and as you can see that one is all good, that one is all good. On the rear bumper here, this little plastic retaining clip has just popped out so I need to remove the screw, pop it back into place and refit the screw and we have to do some work here on the rear bumper as well. But yeah guys, the little 350 convertible is coming along nicely. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, please. Have a look at it now. I've removed those horrible seat covers. The seats actually look in a lot better condition than they did with the covers on. However, this particular driver's seat here has got some damage which I'm not very happy with. But you know what I was thinking? Since I've had this car, I've not opened up the boot. It only came yesterday because I didn't realize. But underneath here, there's a button. Let's see what's in the boot. Come on. <laughs> what's this? Wowzers. Who remember those days? I haven't had a base box in the boot in years. Bloody hell. Edge, is it Edge? Yeah, that's a massive base box. Let me try to clear, what's this? Uh, some lug nuts, Coca-Cola, okay. Random, but I'll throw these out and then I'll continue to clear up this. I wanna see if that base box is actually working, just for the fun of it, just for the kicks. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Oh, I can't believe I just touched that. Now this has to go down, I had to get my gloves. This has to go down as the most random thing that I've found in a salvage car in all the years that I've been doing this. Check this out. Why would it, A, if you know what this is, then you know. But why is it in the back of your car? <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can see that. So this is a flashlight. If you know, you know. In a bag, in the boot of the car. So what, you're coming out at night, going to the car and beat one off? <laughs> oh, no, you know what? Not my business. This has to be the most random thing that I've ever found. Let's show it off. Sorry, mate. If the owner of this car is ever watching this video, I'm sorry, mate. Uh, do I really want to see? Oh my God. Wow. Wow. 
Imagination. If you don't know, Google it. It's called the flashlight in the back of a car. Random. First, first for me. <laughs> this one's gonna go bye bye. Okay, oh, guys. So radio is on, but I'm not getting any power. So some of these wires were broken. I went ahead and reconnected them. I should be getting some some power, but you can see the lights are off. So, back in the day when I used to have a lot of these boxes in my cars, I know for a fact that this is obviously positive, negative, but this is the remote. If the remote is not giving any power, then it's not gonna let this know to wake up. So I'm gonna bridge it. I used to do this all the time. I'll bridge it to test it. So to bridge it, all I'm gonna do is come from the positive to that. Boy, you see that power, I just heard that. Yeah. Okay, so either the remote wire has, is broken or it's not connected to the head unit. But that's the result, I'll leave it. I, I'll just leave it in there. And the AC's on, the AC's blowing. I can see that this is a navigation GPS um, antenna. So the GPS should be working. Fully electric seats are working fine. It's just a lovely little car, man. Lovely little car. And have a listen to that engine. I gave the engine a nice clean this morning as well. Just clean, clean, clean. So it's water, but you can see that this car has been sat for a while. Have a look at that. I promise you it's not oil. It's soot. You can see it's soot. And the engine is running, it's purring nicely. I'll tuck that all away. And yeah, we're good to close this all down. I went ahead and put some um, primer. So until this is fully repaired, I don't want it to get any more rust. So we sanded off all the surface rust, put a bit of primer, have a look at that. Like literally, we're not getting carried away with this car. It's an old car, but it's gonna be a fun car. Um, that'll get fixed later on, but for now, I'm not fucked. So guys, I think this is a good place to end this video. Um, we managed to get to the bottom of quite a lot of things and someone else was getting to the bottom of other things as well because not only did I find what I found in the boot, I was trying to fix this serial and let's just say there's a memory card and when I pressed the mode button it switched to video and I saw something that I didn't want to see. Um, so someone has lost some valuable information and yeah, it's too, it's too, don't use the word, it's, it's, it's not for YouTube, I'll, I'll say that much, it's not for YouTube, so I'm not going to show you what I found, but <laughs> I guess you can tell, um, use your imagination is all I'll say, but anyway, moving forward, we managed to get to the bottom of all the issues that I believe is wrong with this car, I'm going to go home, order some parts and I'm gutted because it's a hot sunny Saturday afternoon in London right now and I would love to be jetting down the road. That's the only thing that's stopping me from driving this car, that bent wishbone. So I'm going to order a new wishbone, get all of those bits in. Once the bits are in, in the next episode, we're going to swap that out and hopefully go for a little first test drive. I want to get this car sliding sideways. So in order to do that, we need to fix it first and that's why you're watching. So. If you want to follow this build and all my other builds, subscribe to the channel. If you've liked this video, press the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if your bells are not on, please switch them on. Enough of me going on. I'm going to head off. So like I always say, keep it moving. And I'll see you in the next one. Wow.
the Nissan 350 is driving. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, why don't you check out one of my previous videos on the left? There's plenty in the playlist. And if you want to know more about the Salvage game, why don't you become a member of Salvage Nation and I'll be there to guide you along the way. And don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram if you want to get an inside scoop before YouTube.